seconds. Now to matters health, where Firo over the 2014 tetanus jab is refusing to go away. The wind of acrimony about the vaccine is now blowing from the west with a study by an American university proposing that women who got the jab in 2014 be tested to ascertain whether the vaccine affected their ability to have children. The report published on the 27th of October claims the vaccine sterilized thousands of women and girls. The report by Louisiana University reinforces concerns raised by the Kenya Catholic Doctors Association that called for independent tests to settle concerns surrounding the vaccine. Now joining me from our city center studios now is the chair of the Pharma Pharmaceutical Distributors Association, Dr. Kamama Mushiru. Uh, Dr. Mushiru, many thanks for joining us uh, this morning. What is your reaction to this latest report? Oh, thank you very, very much. Uh, I've seen the story, and uh, I think uh, this, this is one of the stories that requires to be treated with a normal contempt. From the study that was done in the US by Professor John Ora of the University of Louisiana and his team, on page six of the report, they are stating very, very clearly that in the first place, they never did any analysis. Uh, of those samples. Two, what they did is that they looked at the reports of what had been voiced by two Kenyans. One of them is Dr. Karanja, and the other one was uh, somebody called Gary. Now, out of the samples which the Kenya Catholic Doctors Association claimed to have been contaminated, as I had stated uh, the last time I discussed this matter, is that the samples that were given for analysis from the Kenya doctors, uh, from the Kenya Catholic Doctors Association, were suspect samples because when they were given for analysis, they were not sealed at all. Two, on the same same report, they state very very clearly on the same page that of the 52 samples that were provided by the WHO, which they analyzed, none of them was found to contain any trace of the HCG vaccine uh, whatsoever. So uh, the story that is in today's standard, as well as the report uh, that has been done by the team at uh, the University of Louisiana in the US, uh, does not have any scientific merit, and it is only aimed at causing uh, fear and despondency among our people. And uh, uh, again, there is no need of us relying on these issues, because this is an issue which has been with us since 2014. Now we're going to 2018. I don't know why it keeps on resurfacing. Yet even experts have stated very, very clearly, they have, been they have been able to explain to everybody that there is no harm at all to those girls and women who received the, his, uh, the tetanus uh, vaccine. Now, if I was to explain uh, properly, the studies which have been done since 1970, there was a deliberate inoculation of the tetanus vaccine with the HCG. A hormone, but all the tetanus vaccine that was given to the people of Kenya, and this vaccine was not only administered in Kenya, it was the same same batch was administered in some other 47 countries. None of it had any traces of HCG. Consequently, these continuing claims by the Catholics that uh, there was traces of HCG are not true, and Kenyans should basically forget this issue, and we move forward because there are more important issues that we require to keep on uh, to handle other than all the time repeating ourselves on issues of history. Rishu, isn't, on, isn't it only fair with this report now asking those who got the shot in 2014 to get tested again to see whether it uh, made them sterile? Isn't, isn't it fair uh, to wait for that test or that sample uh, to be carried out for those who got the shot in 2014 for you to make these conclusive claims that it does not harm anybody? There is no need of, of, of all those testings uh, because there is, in the first place, there is no claim. The way this study has been uh, uh, done, or the way it was planned, is that they started from analyzing the samples which were suspect, the samples which we have been told from other sources that were deliberately contaminated by the group from the Catholics so that they could lay claim, positive claim on what they were doing. Because in the first place, the vaccine samples that were given to Kenyans did not have any trace of the HCG in them. Then there is no need of we saying that everybody has to go 
uh, uh, get tested for the purpose of fertility. There's no need of that, please. All right. Uh, and, and finally, uh, Dr. Murisho, like you mentioned, this is an issue that has come back uh, since 2014. We've had it from uh, the Catholic doctors. We've had it uh, from uh, politicians, including NASA leader uh, Raila Odinga. Are you saying this is just a controversy, a theory, so to speak? A lot of uh, fake news everywhere. And uh, we better not uh, uh, have any emphasis or brief anything that is in this story, which is in today's newspapers. Uh, there is totally not even a single iota of truth, even if it is scientific truth in that story. There is no need of that, of Kenyans uh, wasting time, wasting energy, wasting time debating this issue, because this issue is just full of falsehoods, and there is no a single element or a single iota of any form of truth in these crimes at all, whatsoever. There is none. Uh, consequently, there is no need of a uh, we saying that anybody who received the tetanus jab should go for any form of a uh, pregnancy testing or fertility testing. There is no need uh, whatsoever for that. All right, so finally, Dr. Marisha, there are those who are very uh, concerned about this tetanus jab who have to get it in the next few months, so very urgently. Can you guarantee Kenyans that they can get this jab without any side effects whatsoever? I can confidently guarantee all the people of this republic that the tetanus jab that will be coming the next loud eh, is safe for use, is safe for everybody. And this jab is not only used in this country. It is going to be administered in many other countries. And the question we require to ask ourselves is this. How come this controversy is only arising in the Republic of Kenya? How come you have not had the same, same uh, arguments in other countries where it was administered? Uganda, they had it. Tanzania, they had it. Philippines, they had it. How come it is only an issue that keeps on uh, coming up in Kenya? Yet it is the same, same vaccine that is being used elsewhere. There is no need. And they can assure Kenyans with total confidence that they should turn out in large numbers so that they get uh, vaccinated for tetanus because uh, we have to eliminate tetanus. We have to achieve the WHO global ratios to make this country uh, a tetanus-free country. All right. Many thanks. Uh, that is uh, Dr. Murisho Kamami.